the finding the price without GST from the price with GST. So let me take an example. Uh, the price with GST of a Nikon camera is 3650 So this flash camera costs 3650 And what they're saying is this price has a GST in it. And so you can say this is a price inclusive of GST. The question is what's the price without GST? And after that you want to find what is the GST. Okay. And yeah, the rate of GST is 15%. So 15% means... If you are selling, you want to sell something for, say, $100, you have to have the sticker on that product for 150 That means for every $100 that you want to get from the buyer, you have to charge $115. And $15 would go to the government, and $100 you can keep. That means if you are selling something for one dollar, one dollar is hundred and hundred cents. You will sell it for hundred and fifteen cents, which is one dollar fifteen. So I want you to keep this in mind to understand this. So I'm going to make up a column and uh, going to write like this. I want to find the price without GST. So I'm going to make start the column like this, like this. This is the price without this is without GST. This is one column. And this is the price with GST. Okay? So what is the information that we have? I can write, when the price with GST, this is the price with GST. When the price with GST is 3650 you want to find the price without GST. That's the question. And we just saw that when the price with GST is $1.15, so let me write dollar sign here, when the, do, when the price with GST is $1.15, the price without GST is how much? $1. That's what we said. For every dollar, you have to charge 15 cents. That means 115 is $1.15. So, before I go to the next step, I would like to do this example. This is an example that I have made. This is five pens cost $30. How many pens could you buy for $42? So let me make up two columns. Number of pens. This is an example of ratio. Most of you can do this. Number of pens and dollars. Okay. So what can we say? Uh, dollars. So we, the information is five pen. Okay, so let me write what you want to find. Oops. Uh, I want to find for forty-two dollars. I want to find how many pens. So I'm. Let me put a a box here. So this is what I want to find for forty-two dollars. How many pens would you get? What other information you have? I know that 30 pens, so for $30, you get 5 pens. Now, most of you can do this without this. You can go like this. Well, if you have, if you can buy 30 pen, sorry, if you can buy 5 pen for $30, you can buy 1 pen for $6. So, you know the answer is 7. So, how do you get it? Because then if you go 42 divided by 6, you get 7. So I can write this like this. So this is the ratio of this. So I can say dash over 5 is equal to 42 over 30. Okay, so how can I do this? Without the calculator, I can divide this by 6 and this also by 6. Okay, uh, let me do this in a different way. So this, so this is, if I want to get rid of this 5, I'm going to multiply this side by 5. If you multiply this side by 5, it also multiply this side by 5. So 5 and 5 gets cancelled. Uh, and what remains is this question mark is 42 times 5 divided by 30. So this is same as 42. So let me write 42. I want to do without the calculator. This is 42 is 6 times 7. 
times 5 over this 30 is 5 times 6. So what can happen? This 6 and 6 gets cancelled, 5 and 5 gets cancelled. We already know the answer is 7. So you get 7 pins for $42. So keep this in mind and let us go back. So using that same logic, the ratio of this would be equal to the ratio of this. So can I say dash over 1 is equal to 3650 divided by 1.15. Anything divided by 1 is that same thing. Suppose 5 divided by 1 is 5. 50 divided by 1 is 50. 70 divided by 1 is 70. If we're dividing by 1, you get that same thing. So this dash would be 3650 divided by 1.15. So for this, we need a calculator. So this is my calculator. 3650 divided by 1.15. This probably may not be a neat number. So this is 3173.91. So the answer is 3173.91. 9, 1 in two decimal places rounded to. So in other words, this is the price without GST. Now if you want to check your answer, if you multiply this by 1.15, you get the price with GST. So if you want to go backwards, so this is the price, this doesn't have the GST. And uh, if you want to find the price with GST, you go backwards, times it by 1.15, you get 3650. So now, if you want to find the GST, okay, so let me scroll up. So the GST is the price with GST minus the price without GST. It's simple logic. From the price with GST, if you take away the price without GST, you will get the GST. So the price with GST is 3,650. Take away what's the price without GST, 3173.91. 3173.91. That's your GST amount. So 3,650 take away 3,173.91. Which is 476.09. So 476.09 goes to the government if you are selling cameras and if you sold a camera with GST for 3650, you can keep 3173 as your money and this money goes to the government.